Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on propped cantilever beam. A propped cantilever beam of span 5 meter is given in the question. The beam is subjected to a uniformly distributed load of 32 kN per meter for the full span. We have to find the fixed end moment at A, the vertical reactions and then we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams. In this analysis, first we have to find the prop reaction RB. For that, we can use this condition. We know that in the point B, the upward deflection due to RB will be equal to the downward deflection due to the UDL 32 kN per meter. To find both of these deflections, we can use moment area method. In that method, the formula to find the deflection is area x bar upon EI. Using the formula, we can get this expression. We can eliminate EI. Finally, we are getting area 1 x1 bar is equal to area 2 x2 bar. Now, we have to draw the bending moment diagrams separately. First, for RB. Then for the uniformly distributed load 32, we are going to find the moments about the point A. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us take RB. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5. 5 into RB, we will get 5 RB. Since it is positive, the diagram will be coming above the line. Now let us take the UDL. It is acting in the clockwise direction. So it will be negative. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. Here the distance is 5. So 32 into 5 into 5 by 2. We will get 400. Since it is negative, we have to draw the diagram below the line. We know that RB is the vertical reaction, so the diagram will be in the triangular shape. For the UDL, the diagram will be in the parabolic shape. Now, let us find area 1 x1 bar. It is a triangle. We know the area formula of a triangle, half into BH. Here, the breadth is 5 and the height is 5RB. The centroid distance x1 bar is equal to 2 by 3 into B. Here B is 5. So 2 by 3 into 5. After the calculation, we will get 125 RB upon 3. Now let us find area 2 x2 bar. We know that it is a second degree parabola. For the second degree parabola, the area formula is 1 by 3 into BH. Here the breadth is 5 and the height is 400. The centroid distance is 3 by 4 into B. Here the breadth is 5. Let us apply that. After the calculation, we are getting 2500. We know that area 1 x1 bar is equal to area 2 x2 bar. Let us apply both of them. Finally, for RB, we are getting 60 kN. Now, let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find RA. R A and R B are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. The uniformly distributed load is acting downwards, so that will be negative. We have to multiply the uniformly distributed load with the distance. Finally, for R A, we are getting 100 kN. Now, let us apply the rule sigma m is equal to 0 and find m a. To find MA, I am going to take moment about A. In this case, I am moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. Here the distance is 5, so 5 into 5 by 2. Let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction. 
So MA is positive. Finally, for the moment MA, we are getting 100 kilonewton meter. Now we are going to draw the shear force diagram. We can calculate the shear force values from the point A to the point B. In this case, we have to use right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using the rule, I have got the values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In this point, the shear force becomes zero. In this point, there will be maximum positive bending moment. Let us make a section in this point at a distance of x from the point B. We know that in this section, the shear force is zero. We can use left hand side rule. Upwards will be negative and downwards will be positive. 60 is acting upwards so that it will be negative. UDL is acting downwards so that it will be positive. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance. Finally, for x, we are getting 1.875 meter. We know that at this distance, we will have the maximum positive bending moment. Let us find that. We can use left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 1.875. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. Finally, we are getting 56.25 kN meter. We know that the point B is a simply supported end. So the bending moment in the point B is zero. To find the bending moment at A, we can use right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it is negative. Here I have drawn the bending moment diagram. In this point, the bending moment becomes zero. This is called the point of contraflexure. Let us make a section in this point at a distance of x from the point B. Let us find the bending moment in this point. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and the distance by 2. We can take this term on the other side so it will come as positive. We can eliminate x. We can eliminate 2. Here it will be 16. Finally for x we are getting 3.75 meter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.